You know, the hardest thing for us to do as women is to make time for our pleasure. It's the first step and the hardest step in body sex, whether it's virtual or a live workshop. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because you have to believe that you're worth it. You have to have that level of self-esteem. Absolutely. Because even if you make time for it, if you don't really know in your heart that you believe pleasure, that you deserve pleasure, you're not going to be able to experience it because you're going to keep blocking that pleasure. And that's how resistance manifests. Mm -hmm. So we don't make the time, oh, I'm so busy, right? Or Mm -hmm. I'm not going to charge my sex toys, or I'm going to forget this, or I'm not going to do that. Because I think to really embrace pleasure, we need to be in a quiet, safe space, and we need to have time, and we need to have almond oil, (laughs) and we need to have, you know, skills touching our body. And I loved what you said in our podcast, Laura, that you said, love comes from the inside out. Absolutely. There's there's a difference. I think as women, we're seeking love from the outside in. We're looking to be admired from others, from the male gaze, depending on, a lot of times, depending on how we look, um, or also depending on what we do for others, like somehow giving others pleasure like we're supposed to take pleasure from that and we're supposed to get love from that by doing for others and by looking a certain way. And really the biggest thing that I've learned is I really had to learn how to love myself from the inside out. And it makes such a difference. It's a huge shift in our belief system. So everything we need is right here in the body. Mm -hmm. orgasm is a reflex the internal clitoris is the most sophisticated sex organ on the planet so if you make the time and you create a daily touch your body even if you're just going (laughs) something where you're touching and you're thinking something positive in your mind you're creating new neural pathways in your mind for pleasure Mm -hmm. and you're lighting up that pleasure system And Laura, I love the story of your self-affirmation masturbation session that really helped you create self-love. So share that with us. Oh my, yes. And it made such a difference to attach words of love as I was touching my body. And so I told myself, I said things to myself out loud, what I would want a lover to say to me. You know, as I'm touching myself, oh, your skin is so soft. Your nipples are so hard. You taste so good. And I think, you know, it made a difference to even saying it out loud because I was thinking it, but I was also hearing it. And, you know, I I would long for a lover to really admire me, um, a partner to tell me things about myself. And, you know, (laughs) <laughs> they would say things, but it wasn't what I wanted to hear. And, mm-hmm. and in this way, I was able to give myself the love that I wanted. And it internalized. It, it, it got into my heart and into my body. And, you know, my nipples responded and my pussy got wet. And, yeah, uh, yeah it just, it, it makes such a difference when, when we take away that negative self-talk And we're not thinking like, oh, how do I look? Are my breasts big enough? Um, You know, is my skin soft enough? I have, you know, a dimple over here and a mole over here. We all have cellulite. (laughs) Right, right. Get rid of that because it just, you know, your body feels good. Um, Yeah, your body is good. So tell yourself those things. And create a daily ritual, whatever it is it is muscle memory. Mm -hmm. And the more positive we have, it's like we push out the bad by filling up with good. Yeah. And your body exists for your pleasure. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really that simple. We don't exist for the pleasure of others. We can take that back. This is my body. I get one. (laughs) Right. Mm -hmm. And I want to enjoy it. And I also want to explore. Right. Explore my preferences explore. I mean, it's kind of interesting to see how much pleasure we can experience. Right. 
right? And we are entitled to it. I mean, pleasure is our birthright. And Carlin, I love how you use the analogy of, you know, aren't you worth like a Netflix episode? Aren't you worth 20 to 30 minutes? <laughs> you know, I mean, that that time is nothing. I mean, you know, how many TV shows do we watch? Well, through the pandemic, how much crap have we watched for 20, 30 minutes? <laughs> We, we all can make 20 or 30 minutes for ourselves every right. day. Really? Yeah. Yes. And if 20 or 30 minutes seems too intimidating in the beginning, start with five. You know, start mm -hmm. with it, like how you talk about giving, uh, touching your vulva in the shower. Add it on. I, I learned something. Habit stack. <laughs> Which is a, a, a new coaching term. Um but habits stack it. Find a time in your day. You know, Betty would always touch herself, massage her vulva before she went to sleep. But it doesn't even mm -hmm. have to be vulva touch. It can just be saying good night to yourself, you know, by touching different parts of your body and giving yourself mm -hmm. a positive thought, a positive affirmation. And if, if you want to speak it out loud, it's very powerful. And eventually you won't have those negative thoughts. Yes. So know that pleasure, your orgasms, will always carry you through anything life throws at you. It's a coping skill, and it doesn't cost any money. It mm -hmm. only takes about 15 to 30 minutes. Yes. And it's free, and it's yes. freedom. Yes. Be your own lover. Don't depend on someone else. 